County and Pueblo County right now just behind the front. Uh, a few little storms starting to really uh, go up here just north of Walsenburg. Uh, so you're going to be uh, really dodging a lot of storms there along I-25 if you're venturing south over the next couple of hours. Uh, notice here across parts of uh, western Pueblo County, uh, we've had a storm just around Barnquist that has been lingering in the region that uh, is now starting to uh, move out of the region and now pushing closer to Pueblo West. But these are very slow moving cells, so they're probably dropping a lot of heavy rain. Uh, especially for some of those higher terrain locations. Uh, notice there around Greenwood, probably picking up a little bit of pea sized hail. Most of these storms will stay sub severe this evening, uh, but we can't rule out just one or two uh, robust uh, storms out there. But most of the storms will be your general variety uh, showers and thunderstorms. Had some heavy rain in Falcon just about 45 minutes ago. Uh, that little line is uh, really dying down as that pushes towards parts of South Central Elbert County. Uh, so most of these storms will continue to move through heading into that evening time frame. Let's take you to water vapor. I want to show you the upper level pattern here which really indicates that trough uh, digging across most of the Intermountain West, pulling in all that moisture from the Pacific, taking you down to the surface. You'll notice those showers extend back across parts of northern Arizona and parts of southwestern Colorado. Nice little line of storms now moving east of DIA, and uh, you'll notice we've got more wet weather coming into play here across the Central Mountains uh, in parts of Custer County, Fremont County, and up into Teller County between that uh, really 5 and 8 p.m. time frame. So another round of storms will start to really blossom across I-25 and the foothills over the next several hours. These storms will start to really taper off closer to about 1 2 o'clock in the morning for El Paso County, but you'll notice we'll still have a nice south to north orientation of showers moving across Pueblo County as you're stepping out the door tomorrow morning. Hope you soaked up the sunshine this morning because that's pretty much the last we're going to see of it for at least the next 48 hours. It's going to be mostly cloudy tomorrow and still some rain showers moving through, especially between that 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. time frame. Most of the heavy rain will stay across the high country and some high elevation mountain snow for the Sangre de Cristos uh, in parts of the Central Mountains. So that is going to be a pattern that's really just going to continue, most notably there across parts of the San Juans and the Western Slow for Thursday morning. And and Thursday afternoon. Temperatures will struggle to make out of the 40s and 50s for highs in the Pikes Peak region will be in the 50s across most of the Wet Mountain Valley and the 60s across parts of the Far Eastern Plains. 60s, possibly some low 70s across Los Animas and parts of the Arkansas River Valley. It's going to be kind of a a really consistent trend of cooler temperatures, even for Fridays, you'll notice in the 50s and low 60s. So our coolest day is going to come through tomorrow. And then you'll notice it kind of gradually warming up Friday, Saturday, heading into Sunday. We will start to see a little bit more sunshine by the weekend, but we will continue to trend under more clouds and sun. We're just going to be lingering inside this trough for quite some time across the Intermountain West, and that will keep the cloud cover around, keep the energy and unsettled conditions in place place enough to produce more showers and a few more thunderstorms. Thankfully, the dynamics are really just not there for any widespread severe weather, but it is going to be cloudy and just uh, on the cooler side for the next several days. So uh, if you maybe get a little sad without some sunshine, maybe the next couple days might be a bit of a challenge for you. Back to you guys. I'll be smiling for sure. Mary, thanks. Today's rain, a very welcome sight up in Summit County where the